Putting up an electrical horse fence doesn't have to be expensive, both in effort and money. And that's why I always uh, go for the easy way. Um, I have opted to go for some square poles, and I typically buy them always in the double length, because then the price is a bit less. The reason I'm going for these uh, square poles um, is that I'm going to use some galvanized uh, steel pickets that I can knock in the ground, and then actually uh, the uh, pole will actually fit uh, right here in this holder, as you can see, right, like this, as so. So that makes it very easy. The pole will never be sitting in the ground. Uh, it's just going to be the galvanized metal that will be sitting in the ground. So the pole will last a bit longer. I also recommend that you use protected wood so it lasts longer against insects and so on. So the first thing we're going to do now is cutting these poles to length. As I bought them in double lengths, they tend to be a bit cheaper. So now the first thing I'm going to do is that. So the first thing we'll do now is to calibrate the length of the uh, poles. And I'm going to go for 1 meter 35 or about 4 and a half feet. So typically, uh, one would be using the standard insulators uh, for the fans. Uh, now I'm going to use something else, and I'm going to use just a very small plastic tube uh, that I actually will put through the wood like this, and then I will feed my wire through that. That's a very cheap solution and very elegant, because your cables and your wires are going straight through the middle of the pole. So let's um, start marking where the holes are supposed to be for the wires. So I'll do it at 15 centimeters from the top. And the next one I probably would do around 80 from the top. The point is if you drill the hole, then you want to make sure that the hole is not too big and not too small so that the tube actually fits flush into it and it does not fall out. That's why you should always match the bit towards the tube and then um, try to do that. It all depends on the size of the tube. This is 16 millimeters, but you can get them bigger, you can get them smaller. I wouldn't go too big because then the wire will be too loose in it. Cutting these uh, little uh, tubes is pretty easy as long as you have a circular saw and a block which is actually placed and held in place um, um, to the right length. So when it, you cut it, you know, you always have the same length. So here we go. So now that we made actually the hole, now we can try to fit the tube into it and it should be a very tight fit. So now it's just a matter of knocking in the tubes. We're going to use a piece of wood to drive it in the ground so you don't damage the actual metal. The first few hits you can guide it and once you have a certain depth then you can knock through. Once the picket is in place uh, you can actually put pole in and that's the pole you prepared before it's pretty easy now you can bolt them down through the holes there I am not going to do that instead I prepared uh, some little pieces of wood that I will slide in and I just knock it in to keep it in place and lock it down there we go so the next thing is actually to put 
a lineup uh, so, so you can align all the uh, pickets. That's one. Now we'll do the next one. Here we go. So all what's left now to do is feed this electrical cable through the holes we've made. And that's pretty easy, so and we just pull it through. That's how simple it is.